G'day, it's Phil here. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be looking through $1 coins again, looking for commemorative coins, rare coins, and coins worth more than face value. Again, we have my $1 collection book here, already partly filled with the commemorative coins that we've found so far. And really, we're only looking for one coin. The 2016 changeover coin, this placeholder here. All the other coins in the commemorative series from 1986 through to now are in the book. We have a whole heap of unintended for circulation and corporate coins that have come out since then. Uh, very nice coins indeed, but put the book aside because we need to find that changeover. We've been searching for it for a long, long time. So let's get into the rolls and see if we can find that elusive changeover roll, uh, changeover coin. There we go, that's our first coin. That's the Mob of Ruse, that's the standard $1 coin design. And as we go through, I'll be flicking through both obverse and reverse sides, just looking for that uh, commemorative side, because the commemorative side for the uh, changeover is on the obverse side where the Queen's head is. Now, this is a 2014 coin. This is the lowest minted circulating $1 coin. This is at just over a million, and we'll be pulling that out of circulation as a low minted coin. We'll also be searching for uh, Coins from 1987, 89, 1990, 1991, 2007, and 2012 because those mob of ruse were not issued into circulation. And we find that that means they can't have sets. Here we have the first common commemorative of the day, the International Year of Older Persons from 1999. Actually, we'll put that one up there. We'll call that the common commemorative, and we'll put the 2014 mob of ruse down the bottom. We'll call that the Keeper's Row. Oh, I see something else. Underneath there, we have an AFL Premiership Season Trophy Cup from 2023. There we have the memorial effigy of Queen Elizabeth II with the denomination there on the obverse. And this is also going to be kept for the wider collection. It's not intended for circulation or a low minted corporate program coin. We have another common commemorative, the International Year of Peace from 1986. It's the very first year that there was any commemoratives issued in the $1 denomination. And we have another coin with the uh, denomination there on the obverse, but without the memorial effigy. So this will be from 2020, it'll be the donation dollar. There you go. Give to help others, specifically designed to donate. If you get it in your change, donate it to charity. It's an only colored circulating $1 coin as well. So special on a number of fronts. And we continue on looking through the coins. Pulled out the low minted 2014 for the other years that were not intended for circulation. We have for the first time we see the centenary of girl guiding from 2010, celebrating guiding in Australia. And then after that, we have 100 years of Anzac, the spirit lives. This one is from 2014. Also, the uh, highest minted of the series. It series ran from 2014 to 2018 inclusively. We'll go on the top row as a common commemorative and we'll continue on. There, you see the centenary of Commonwealth Age Pension from 2009, also highly minted commemorative. It'll go up in the top row and then directly after it, we'll see a 2024 coin, this year's coin, also with the memorial effigy and the $1 in the denomination. So it'll be another AFL coin. This is the AFLW Premiership Season Best and Fairest Trophy. So the 2023 had the Premiership Trophy and the 2024 had the Best and Fairest Trophy. That's the AFLW. Only got a few of those, so that'll go down also at the bottom as a keeper for today. So not too bad. And then we see a coin from the year 2000. We always check the coin from the year 2000 for a mule. This one doesn't appear to be a mule, but I'm going to put it to the side so that I can add it to the collection of the coins that come from the year 2000, so I can gauge how often I get an opportunity to find a mule. Here we go that, uh, with Sir Henry Parks from 1996, the father of Federation, also highly minted, will go up on the top row. And we'll continue on, Let's see how we go, it's 2001. It's the Centenary of Federation, we always check this particular coin for a rotation error seems to be fine so we'll go up to the top with as a common commemorative we continue on looking for 
changeover. I'm looking at all the coins for the years, also looking for any damage, any die chips, planchet errors, so forth. We have another Centenary of Federation. We'll check it for a rotation error. No, it seems to be fine. There's always some slight level, or well, there can be some slight level of rotation in, in a lot of the coins. So anything less than one o'clock on the uh, one o'clock or eleven o'clock on the rotation the variation is usually pretty good or anything above that we'll continue on this will be the third roll and after the third roll we'll speed the hunt up and we'll uh, only stop for when we see coins that we haven't seen before like with that one we've seen that one before so we showed it and laid it down this is uh, sir charles kingsford smith though we haven't seen this one today this is from 1997 sir charles kingsford smith one of uh, australia's pioneer aviators another one highly minted as well so it'll go up on the top row so Today, yeah, looking for 2016, looking for the 2016 with the changeover obverse, which we have lovely to find. Close out the book. And we have the Dancing Man. This is the uh, peace coin from 2005, the 60th anniversary of the end of World War II. Dancing Man is also highly minted and will go up on the top row. Yes, I was saying I was looking out for die chips and cut errors and so forth. Uh, any any damage that was made at the mint, not after minting. Like this one has got post mint damage. It's been looks like it's been hit by a car or dragged across the ground. This is the year of the outback in 2002. It's the first one we've seen today, not in great condition. Down here on the top because it is a highly minted commemorative coin. And there we have it for the first three rolls. So let's speed the hunt up now uh, and I'll only slow down if we find something new for the day that we haven't seen or talked about, we'll show it and then we'll, we'll move on. But hopefully we can get that changeover coin for the next few rolls. So let's go. Now this is an X-proof coin. When I say X-proof, I mean it, it was um, minted as a proof coin and it somehow slipped into circulation. You can tell that by the way that it is extremely shiny uh, in the fields right close to the design. So the kangaroos and the dollar is raised, but they're really close to that design is highly shiny surface. And that's because the proofs are minted to a really highly mirror image uh, surface on the flat fields when they are produced. But this one, so X proof or it was proof uh, manufactured and that will go, it's not gonna be worth anything more than a normal coin, but it's something that it was definitely not intended for circulation. It was issued uh, as a collector item and now it is in my collection. there for the first time today we see the Landcare Australia coin from 1993 sometimes on this coin we look amongst the waves there or the, the leaves for 
die chip errors or cads uh, where it's joined together this one seems to be pretty good though it is a highly minted memory of coins so it'll go up on the top row as well And there for the first time today, we see the 1988 Bicentennial, Bicentennial Celebration, uh, 200 Years of Australia, 1988. Also highly minted, it'll go up on the top row. Oh, and there we go. We have a 2021 coin. This is from the great Aussie coin hunt. Number two, this is the Sydney Opera House. That's O for Sydney Opera House. And because it is an opera house and it just happens to be in Sydney. So that's also a keeper from the great Aussie coin hunt. It was designed for or as a corporate program in conjunction with Australia Post. And so we keep that in the wider collection. looking 2001 let's see if this is going to be a rotation error no it is in such good nick i'm going to put it to the side and have a look and see if it's better than the one in the book or even put it in the wider collection and swap one out of the wider collection There we have a memorial effigy from 2023. See what that one is. That's uh, another AFL Premiership Season Cup. And with the other one. And then we have a 2022 Australian dinosaur, the Canbarasaurus. Very nice uh, pronunciation of that difficult name there. This is from 2022. It's from the Dinosaur Series. Four coins that we issued through. Uh, Australia Post in conjunction with the Royal Australian Mint. You can get those with preview marks on them as well, a D, I, N, and an O, or different dinosaurs, but that one's going to go into the wider collection as a low minted coin. There we go. We have our first King Charles III coin for today's hunt. This is a 2023 mob of ruse. It's very, in very nice condition. So we're keeping them all at the moment because we don't know how much or how many are going to be minted. So I'll just keep them for the year, see what the mintage figures will come out in about October, November. 
uh, if they're quite low they'll keep them all if they are medium to high they will be going back I'll keep really probably about 10 really good examples uh, and the rest will go back into the bank And there for the first time today, we see the centenary of women's suffrage, 2003. It's a highly minted coin, but it is very hard to find in really good condition because it's not issued into sets. It was just issued as a circulating coin as a commemorative. But it didn't go in the year sets. And here we have the centenary of scouting for 2008. A bit of a mini set with the centenary of guiding, but it's celebrating 100 years of scouting in Australia. And that then brings us to the last roll. Some good coins down there on the bottom, but nothing spectacular as yet, and certainly not the uh, uh, changeover coin, which we are looking for. Hopefully we have a bit of last roll luck, and that turns up somewhere in deep in this roll. But uh, so far, not too bad. A few keepers for the wider collection, some low-minted coins. Uh, uh, we've got an X proof and so forth. So we'll have a look at that in a minute, but we'll quickly get through these last uh, 12 or so uh, coins in my hand still looking for oh there's another donation dollar still looking for things to pull out of circulation what year is this it's another 2020 so we'll go down with that one I've had so many centenary of federations today to have a, an opportunity at a, a rotation error it's been great it's always good to have uh, the opportunity to find something if you don't even see the, the coin year, you'll never uh, get an opportunity to find the good coins. I even pulled out two uh, 2000 year coins, so two opportunities at a, at a mule, which is uh, probably about the limit of what I usually get about two 2000 coins per hunt, sometimes even less. Uh, what a deep, deep piles here at the moment. But that's pretty much seems it. There is nothing else there at the last roll. So I don't need to go through all the coins after the hunt because I have gone through them both sides. We've got, yeah, large piles of these uh, com commemorative coins here. But we'll quickly go through what we did pick up for today. We've, we've got a Charlie coin, King Charles III. And that will just go to the wider collection for the moment. Picked up a dinosaur, Cannabarosaurus. Uh, from 2022, very, very nice there. The Sydney Opera House, the Great Aussie Coin Out number two from 2021. A couple of donation dollars, they'll go back uh, into uh, circulation through charity pots. We've got two AFL Premiership Season trophies there from 2023, and also one of the new AFLW Premiership Season Best and Fairest Awards from 2024. Mem Memorial effigy on there. And that's the thing about this, these coins were designed uh, before we had the um, the year uh, 2023 Charles the third effigies approved so these were designed with the memorial effigy but not issued until 2024 2023's standard effigy is King Charles the third these coins most likely will be the only coins in circulation or uh, 
uh, turning up in circulation, technically uncirculated, that will have Queen Elizabeth II's effigy in the year after King Charles III has had his effigy approved and issued on Australian coins. So they may or may not be very special. Uh, the subject matter on the uh, reverse here is not particularly awe-inspiring, but uh, there is something a little bit different about those coins uh, as they were issued in 2024. We did pick up a uh, low-minted mob of roost from 2014, and just off to the side, uh, a 1985 that I'm going to check for a cud on the, the rabbit ear. I wasn't sure. I'm going to put that under the microscope. Honestly, if you've got to put a coin under the microscope to find an error, it's not an error. Uh, and then this X-proof coin uh, that's going to go into the wider collection. A really nice looking Centenary Federation and a couple of mules. Uh, sorry, not a couple of mules. A couple of 2000s uh, with the opportunity to find a mule. So that's it pretty much for today. Mm, not spectacular, but uh, not dead. Very happy with uh, some of those finds. And if you like what I do, please think about subscribing to the channel. I'd love to uh, be able to get your notifications out to you when I put up a new video, which is pretty much three times a week, but I will be back for more noodling in a few days. So I'll see you then. Bye.